The development of the SAFE system started back in 2002, actually. We published this technique in the Journal of Derm Surgery. It caught on, however, it was laborious and doctors didn't want to do it. At the time, most of the surgery was done by strip harvest. There was a feeling like, why do I have to go through and remove these grafts one by one when I can spend 10 minutes, take out a strip, sew it up, and let my team dissect out the grafts. The problem with that is that that technique leaves a linear scar. Patients that want to wear the hair shorter can't do that because of the scar. So there, there's some inherent problems with the, with the strip technique. So the advantages of FUE are that we're removing less skin, we're spreading the trauma over a much larger area. You have a process in a surgery that is much less painful. Typically within two days, 98% of patients feel no pain or discomfort. The healing is more rapid and the results are, are very natural. So we've been talking about the SAFE system, so now we're gonna get a closer look at the actual hardware uh, that comprises the SAFE system. There's really three components to it. One is the controller unit that controls the speed or the rotation of the punch. The second is the, the motor, the handpiece, and finally the dissection tip. So this is really the heart of the safe system is the punch and the punch design and what made it unique uh, when we developed it. So let's look at each one of these separately. The controller itself dictates the rotation of the punch. What this allows is for the punch to rotate at a certain speed to allow it to get through the skin. In a single patient, you can have skin that's softer, like in the temple regions, or you can have skin that's a little more firm, lower down on the, on the back of the head. So a surgeon will be doing the dissection, and when you encounter a little bit tougher skin, you might have to increase the speed. The typical setting in most of my patients is somewhere between two and three on the settings, but again, it varies from patient to patient. This is the handpiece, and this responds to the control inputs from here that dictates the rotation speed. At the very tip of the motor unit is the actual safe system punch. What makes this punch unique is that there's no sharp edges on this punch and that gives us a margin for error. We can't predict the curve or the, the location of the follicles underneath the surface of the skin and the lack of sharp edges allows some leeway. So we try to align it where we think the follicle is going to be but if there's a curve to it, the blunt tip of this allows the follicle to actually move into the lumen of the punch without damaging it. And finally, one other component that, uh, that most surgeons use is a foot control, and this foot control simply allows the punch to go on and off. FUE stands for follicular unit excision, and what that is is taking follicles from where you have it and placing it where you need it. FUE is different from the old method. With FUE, there's no scalpel, no stitches, no linear scar. One of the things that sets Restore apart from other practices is we offer a method of FUE where the patient doesn't have to shave their head. It's an excellent benefit for patients who work full time, who are around people constantly, who don't want people to know that they've had a procedure. You know, with the Restore No Shave method, you're back to work the next day and no one knows that you've had a procedure done. You'll spend the day watching movies, playing on your iPad, while we do all the work, moving the follicles from where you have them, putting them where you don't. A lot of fears that people have about hair restoration is that uh, it's not going to look natural. But all you need to do is, is look at our website, look at the before and afters, look at the testimonies that we have, look at the pictures. These are actual patients. When patients come back to see us after 10 months and they tell us that we've changed their lives, there's no better feeling in the world.